He's nothing short of magic. The inimitable Kenny S has been the inspiration for many of today's CSGO snipers. He's plied his trade for many years on G2, but now that's come to an end. So what next? Kenny S was in the HLTV Top 20 for five years running. He has 10 MVP awards. In 2015, he was at the peak of peaking, and his fast flicks led Envy to a major trophy. Oh, and a second headshot there. Flamey gonna be gone. Hiroshima, and there it is. But one thing he hasn't been able to do is to turn it on whenever he wants. When he's feeling it, he's fast and furious, but he has to be feeling it. His Achilles heel is not being able to summon the magic when it's just not there. The magnificent bromance between Kenny and Jax on G2 wasn't enough to light the fire, and bringing in Nico didn't seem to do the trick either. So it's fair enough for G2 to ask, what have you done for me lately? And while it's painful to admit, G2 have undoubtedly been doing better since Kenny's benching. They progressed into the playoffs of the ESL Pro League, and they topped Blast Premier Spring Showdown, finishing with an encouraging win over a strong spirit side. And Dexter, he's going to do just that Hunter on his own. He spins and he gets it. Oh, my God. Overtime and all. And it is G2 making its way all the way into the spring finals. All of a sudden, G2 are doing just fine without Kenny. And they're happy with their lineup. Yeah, I think right now in the last month, I think maybe we found the, the, the winning combination. You know, like we, we solved the puzzle and... I think we're gonna stick with, with uh, what we have for, for quite some time right now and see what results it produces. Kenny wasn't playing well, but it wasn't because he had lost all his skill. According to Nexa, he just desperately needed a break. This decision, it had to come and it's definitely something he needed as well. Like he needed some time off time for himself, you know, to like reset his mind and and and, I, and like I, I'm sure that, that he will come back stronger than ever after this. And I'm not just saying that, I know that like he really needed his this like mental reset and I also think our team needed um, something fresh, you know, like to to to, to refresh ourselves and um, I, I think it was uh, the, the best move for, for both the team and, and for Kenny as well. Even a magician needs some time off once in a while, and for an emotional player like Kenny S, that's arguably even more true. But still, that leaves the question, what's next? With all he's accomplished, it's hard to believe the ferocious Scoper is only 25 years young. He's stated numerous times that CSGO is his love and he has more years left in him. He could very well be the next RPK, playing on a top French team into his early 30s. But if he wants to claw his way back to the top of CSGO, he does have a few obstacles set out for him. The first is proving his ability and motivation. In early 2021, Kenny averaged an 0.98 rating with an 0.85 rating for impact. That's not what you want from an AWPA. He should be opening up rounds with a first pick, thus having lots of impact. The story was the same for the second half of 2020, with Kenny S only narrowly pulling back above a 1.0 rating in December. Kenny's job right now is firstly to take his much needed break and then come back strong. He needs to prove he's still got the skills and also that he's got the motivation to be back at the top. He's got FPL and he's got his stream and he'll want to get back into competitive play soon. But that brings us to the next problem. There's not a lot of room at the top, even for a legendary AWPA like Kenny. Astralis suddenly have a vacancy after Device's departure, but they likely already have someone in mind. Out of the top 10 teams right now, none of them lack a strong, dedicated sniper. Even his friends and former teammates had a hard time thinking of where he'd be a good fit. They want to see him at the top, they know he's capable of it, but the hard truth is CSGO is blessed with an abundance of decent AWPers right now. I hope he's gonna stay on CS, obviously, and in the pro scene, uh, not uh, going for for shit Laurent, as, as I mentioned in, uh, in, in, in an interview, or or uh, going streamers, a streamer, but I hope uh, a great team will pick him up and and he will, uh, yeah, come back at at uh, our at his best level. There are like a lot of a lot of uh, players who are currently benched or teamless, and there are like a few rosters that are you know like being being created from from scratch. So maybe he he joins one of those. Plus, Kenny's legendary status might actually be hindering him here with an undoubtedly high buyout fee. So one option is waiting until the end of the contract and picking the best team available. In the meantime, Kenny could rest, stream, and try to reignite his love of the game. 
finding a new team right away seems almost impossible, at least for now. Because of the buyout fee, we can only consider orgs with resources, but all of the top teams have snipers they're happy with. Orgs either have interest or funds, but not both. So we're looking for a big team that needs a sniper. In the current state of the game, that narrows things down a lot. Fnatic is an option because JW is doing even worse than Kenny was. He's been averaging an 0.86 rating for this year, and Fnatic's results have been far from what the Counter-Strike world is used to. They've got the funds, but Fnatic have stated recently they want to focus more on elevating Swedish talent. Up until recently there was Nip, but they just shocked the world by signing Device. OG have also been floated as a possible option, but Man 2 has better recent form, so replacing him could be a bad move. Then there's the new squad Flush is putting together, but all the spots seem accounted for. With things the way they are, you can't blame pundits for starting to mention the dreaded V word. Let's go, I play this go, bro. What do you want me to do? You want me to switch to Valorant? You want me? Don't be careful, huh? Kenny has laughed about Valorant in the past and said repeatedly CSGO is where he'll stay. <laughs> Mais non! This game, oh, no! But if he doesn't get a good offer from a CSGO team, he might be tempted to jump ship. Just don't put money on it. Alternatively, Kenny S could focus on content creation for a while. He stated that he's going to be more present for his 558,000 followers on Twitch and that they'll all get to know each other better in the coming months. He set up a new YouTube channel for uploading gameplay clips and attracted nearly 10,000 subscribers in four weeks. At the very least, he's taking streaming and YouTube more seriously now. The question is whether he'll take it seriously enough to stick with that as his main thing or put the effort into getting back to the top of the eSport. For many players, the bulk of their money and opportunities actually come from the content creation side. Just ask Optic Gaming. It's a lot harder and more exhausting to get back on the grind of true competitive play. There's a prestige that comes with being at that level, but Kenny already has that prestige. So no one would blame him if he took the road of an entertainer. Big salty balls! Big salty balls! You have the perfect nickname for my stream. Thank you for so big. Thank you. Come, come, come. If he does want to get back into competitive play, Kenny will need to find a team he's worthy of, and vice versa. The glimmers of hope are still there. At Katowice in 2020, Kenny looked back to his best. He was audaciously peeking around corners and getting quick frags, picking up 28 kills against an informed fanatic. He got 1.5 frags for every death during one of the most competitive periods in Counter-Strike history. Gives away his position, Kenny desperately trying to keep his teammate alive has managed to drop the bomb but the smoke means he's got to go searching again, Picky twist out the sky, Jax gets one more before the trade and Kenny through the smoke takes out Nitro. The good times lasted for a while after Katowice 2, going 35-6 against Tyloo in the ESL Pro League. The big man has to hold. And they're coming from the same direction, does make this orb viable. But if they peek together, oh, that's the full health. And that's Ooh. somebody as well. No need for a scope onto the second. Showboating as he strafes over the great chasm. It was a period where he recaptured the magic, but he just couldn't hold on to it. Hopefully some time off is all he needs to get back on top. His countrymen believe he'll be a great addition to any team. Even though they'll be going up against him in the future, Nexa and Apex still want to see him succeed, which tells you everything you need to know about his qualities as a human and a teammate. Shit. We've got it. <laughs> what has happened there? Apex just dropped Kenny. They just want to see him back in the highlight reels. Oh, he's trying shot. to go for the pre-fire, then flash bangs out and turns what? around. That's such a sick flick. What do you think the future holds for Kenny S? Let us know in the comments below.